Um, I did do the other videos on the other class that you guys can definitely go and take a look at. But I want to do a problem like this just so you guys can remember because usually when we get to vertical and horizontal lines, students just kind of totally forget everything because this is not in the form of y equals mx plus b. Right? It's just x equals a number. So the best thing I like to do when um, showing students how to graph an equation where you cannot put in slope-intercept form is to use a table of values. Right? When you guys first learn how to graph, you learn, we use table of values. Now, the nice thing about the table of values is what's the value of x? Negative 1. It doesn't change. So if you're going to go ahead and graph this, x equals negative 1. But for what values of y does x equal negative 1? Well, every single value, right? x is always equal to negative 1. So y could be negative 2, y could be 0, y could be 2, y could be 5, y could be negative 1. It doesn't matter what y is. x is always equal to negative 1. So let's go. Here's the x-axis. Here's the y-axis. Let's go where x equals negative 1. That's right here. That's x equals negative 1, y equals 0. What about x equals negative 1, y equals negative 2? What about negative 1? What about positive 2? What about positive 5? Do you guys kind of see a pattern emerging of what these lines are going to connect to make? A vertical line. So whenever you guys have x is equal to a value, know that it's going to produce a vertical line at the x value. When y is equal to value, know that it's going to produce a horizontal line at the value of y. OK? All right. Um, that's it. That's